Hey guys, so today I am going to be doing my makeup and I'm also going to be telling you about the books that I read um, in the uh, month of March. So we're going to do makeup together and then I'm going to explain or tell you about the books that I read in March. Um, I have to film a couple of videos for my students. so. I thought that I might as well just go ahead and get ready since I haven't gotten ready in forever. And two birds, one stone, you know? Okay. But anyways, so I'm just going to show you my simple day-to-day -day routine. This is when I have to get ready super fast and head out the door. Usually teacher makeup. So I'm just going to take you through it and tell you about my books. Take my glasses off. So. I can actually do my makeup. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to use is the Soul or Touch and Soul um, No Pro No Pore Bloom Primer Essence. I like this stuff. It uh, doesn't clog my pores since it's like a oil. Basically, it's an essence, and I'm just going to rub it in. And my mirror is right here, so, so I'm looking over there. And the reason why I like this is because I have super dry skin, even when I moisturize, which I did moisturize earlier today. So even when I moisturize, it's still dry and it bothers me. So that's why I use this. I like this stuff a lot. The next thing I'm going to use is just a, a tinted moisturizer. It is the Sephora um, Matte Perfection Tint. And this is in the shade Cashmere. I like this because it doesn't have SPF and I have really sensitive skin. And SPFs tend to um, tend to make me break out. So I have to be really careful. And I just put it on. I put it on my fingers at first, but I'm just going to put it on my sponge. And this is a real technique sponge, in case you're wondering. So books. The first book I read was The Boy Is Back by Meg Cabot. And I give this a four stars. I'm not gonna go through every single book because I did read 16 books in the um, month of March. So I'm just gonna give you my top three. I guess I should've mentioned that before, but um, I'm just gonna give you my top three and then I'll talk more in depth about this. But again, first book I read was the Boy is Back by Meg Cabot. And I gave that a four stars. Next book I read is The Seven Husbands of Emily, or Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. And I gave this a five stars. By far my favorite of the month. So, again, I'm just going to work this all over my skin. And this stuff is really lightweight. It's not going to give you a ton of coverage. Just gonna even out the skin tone and that's usually what I look for if I'm in a hurry or if I'm teaching because I don't want cake face when I'm teaching so next step is concealer and I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape in Fair so we will I'm gonna dab a little of my T-zone on my nose, my chin. And I usually hit this part too because that's where I get red the most. So the third book I read is Finding Gideon. That's by Eric Jerome um, Dickey. I really like this book too. It, I gave it five stars and it's a big action book, but I loved it. I was enthralled in it. It took me like maybe five hours to read it. It was really, really good. After that, I read Nine Perfect Strangers by Laney 
more Terry. Or yeah, anyways, buy this. I like this book too, and I gave it a total of four stars. The only thing that I really didn't like about that book was because it's so slow, which I know that it's supposed to because it's supposed to build up. But I think out of the how many pages is it? Out of the four hundred and Out of the 450 pages, I think that it could have been told in like maybe 350. It was just it was a little bit long and redundant. Alright, so after concealer, I always set my face. And I'm just going to set my face with the Smashbox um, Hydrating Perfecting Powder in the shade light and I just set my whole face with this so my under eyes as well as my entire face. Next book is My Dark Vanessa by Kate Elizabeth Russell and this was a five star read for me. I absolutely loved this book. It took me maybe three hours to read it and yes, that's one of my different favors, favorites. My next one was a graphic novel called Heart Stop. This is volume one and it's by Alice um, Oseman. Love this too. It's really, really cute and really quick read. And then I read The Birthday Girl by Melissa Melissa De La Cruz. I gave this a three stars. It it was boring. 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 And then before we move on with the makeup, the next book I read was Faker by Sarah Smith. This was a really, really cute novel. It was fun. It was fast paced. Obviously, it's one of those short ones, um, and I'm pretty sure this was a debut. Pretty sure, or a debut, however you want to say it. But it was it was really cute. I gave that four stars. And just to make sure everything's blended out, because sometimes I don't blend stuff out all, all the way. Okay. After I do that, I just sweep on quick eyeshadow. I don't even prime my lids when I'm doing this quick stuff because I ain't got time for that. So I'm going to take the Tarte, um, it's one of the Under the Seas palette. I can't remember what it's called, but it's one of these. And it's the neutral one. And I just take a few of these. So the color that I'm going to take first is this one right here. And it's called Earthy. And I'm just going to use a random Morphe brush. This was out of one of the holiday collections. I don't remember which one it was. sparkly color and this is what I'm also going to use for my highlight. I do this all the time and it's called Glacier or maybe sometimes this, this little setup maybe it's Dusk. Either Glacier or Dusk. I can't tell because the way this palette's set up it, I don't know, doesn't really match. And this color just gives you a little slight shimmer on the lid. That's what I look for. Again, I'm going to use this for my highlight color too. One of those tricks that I learned along the way. Not to have to carry a highlighter because I just use this little bag as my everyday bag. And I don't feel like 
having it overloaded with everything. Okay, so before we move on to bronzer, we are going to talk about the next book. It's called Jack of Spades. This is by Joyce Carol Oates. I gave this book three stars. It was super slow. It was short, but it took me forever to read because it was just so slow. And it's a mystery. Next book I read was Love and Other Carnivorous. I can't ever say this word. Carnivorous Plants. There we go. It's by Flora, um, Florence Gonzalez. And I gave this book three or four stars. It was a really good representation of um, someone coming into their sexuality and finding themselves and going through some mental issues as well. I thought that this was a really good representation. Some people might disagree. If you look on the Goodreads, um, some people either love it or hate it, but I was one of the ones that really did like it. And then the next book I read is um, Husband Material and by Emily Belden. I really liked this book. It was fun. It was quick. The main character, Charlotte, she has been through a lot. She's a widow and you find that out throughout the book. That's not a spoiler or anything. But she hit, she hides it from people and the guy that she ends up meeting, he he's really, he's just a really good guy. He was one of those, you know, who I really crushed on him. You know, you know what I'm saying? So if you like lighthearted romances and it's not super detailed on the romance part, just, this is a cute book. I gave it five stars. And the next book I read, Marriage Vacation. This is by Pauline Turner Brooks. And I didn't even know this when I picked it up, even though there's a big old star thing right there. It says, from the hit TV land series, Younger. So this is a representation of a story that the characters read in the series, Younger. Did not know that going in, so this book was a little confusing for me. But the main character, Kate, irritated me. She made me so, so mad for what she did to her family. And that's why I gave this book three stars. Now I can understand, sorry, and I'm going on a rant about this one because this one made me mad. But I'm, I can understand that she was just trying to find herself and she was trying to do what she wanted to do. And being a mom is hard. Yes, being a mom is super hard. But she left her family and she left her kids. And Ugh. she just really made me mad so yeah there's that one okay back to the makeup so when I need a quick sweep of color on my face because I look flat but a bronzer and it's just in the original I'm taking this big Morphe brush that I've had for forever I'm just gonna lightly hit my cheekbones And I really don't even worry about if it's messy or not. I'm hit my temples. And under my chin. No, my neck a little bit. If I'm wearing a low cut shirt like this today, which is really cute, and I'll link it down below. It's a t shirt and it has little cut sleeves and everything. It's tie dye and it's <laughs> my jam. Especially for this time of year. I love this. I love these kind of shirts. Okay. After that is mascara. I'm going to curl my eyelashes. And this is just an old Tarte eyelash curler. Hit my eyelashes a few times. And put on mascara. And I can't talk while putting on mascara, so... Bear with me. The only thing I don't like about this mascara, yes, there's something I don't like, is that my bottom lashes are so small. Right here. Little white dots under. Almost. 
And one trick or tip that I that I can give you is on the go, always keep Q-tips with you. Q-tips. Okay, next book. It is Someone Always Knows by Marsha Muller. Um, and I forgot to mention this, but from these books, ones that I just talked about, on were I started some started a goal of mine was to read all my most wanted to read books on Goodreads, and from those books on were my lowest rated books to my top rated books. So. I started doing that in the middle <laughs> of March just to give myself a little bit of a challenge because I was bored. Anyways, so someone always knows, and this is by Marsha Muller. This is a um, Sharon, it's part of the Sharon McCone mystery series, and you can read it as a standalone or you can read it in the series too, or throughout the series, but there's literally like 20 something books just in that series right here. Um, I found this really boring. It was slow. You didn't find out what was going on until about the last 60 pages of the book. And if I'm going to read a mystery or a thriller or whatever you want to call it, I want it to start like boom at the very beginning so I can try to figure stuff out because it was really predictable. I gave it three stars. Next one is The Singles Game. This is by Lauren Weisenberger. I was really excited about this. I've read some of Lauren Reisenberger's books in the past, and this was about tennis, and I didn't know anything going into this book. I just picked it up because I like her book so much, but the singles game, singles is part of tennis. <laughs> did not know that because I know nothing about tennis, but I did learn a lot from this book, and it, I gave it four stars just because I like the main character a lot. Um, but the tennis aspect, it was just kind of like, ooh, not my favorite, but, you know. Okay, going back to the makeup. Now it's blush. Where's my blush? There it is. And I'm going to use the Clinique, um, th these are the flower bombs, I think. Or, it says cheek pop, blush pop, not flower bombs. That's another something. Anyway, it's called Heather Pop. I'm just going to pop this on the cheeks. And this is one of those blushes that you have to build up a lot because it doesn't, some color doesn't really come off. But I like it for my everyday. Because since I, my profession is in that, as a teacher, I'm walking around all day and getting hot and sweaty. So my cheeks get flushed anyways. Alright, next thing is eyebrows. It's the Benefit Gimme Brow. And I use the shade 3.5. I'm just going to sweep it over my brows. And I don't even, if I'm doing quick makeup, I don't even fill in my brows. I just use this. And this is fine for me. Okay, moving on. The second to last book I read was The Wedding Date. This is by Jasmine um, Gullery. I think that's how you pronounce it. I, I freaking love this book. I loved it. Besides the constant characters, yes, I want to date you, no, I don't want to date you, blah, blah, blah. That's the only reason why I gave it five stars, because or four stars, excuse me. Because they just kept going back and forth like that. I was just like, make up your minds. Please just make up your minds. That's one of the things that I can't stand in a book. One of the tropes, you could call it, is when the characters just keep going back and forth. Like, either say that you want to be together or just stop going back and forth. But yeah, it was a cute book. And then, the last book I read was I Owe You One by Sophia Kinzella and I thought this was adorable. I gave it four stars just because of the same aspect that I talked about in this book. The characters just kept going back and forth saying if they wanted to be together, if they didn't want to be together and 
by the end of it and this is a pretty thick book by the end of it I was just like just say if you want to or not so yeah cute book but if you don't like that kind of trope then I would be forewarned about going into this okay and the last step to my makeup routine is highlighter which I just told I told you that I was gonna use the same eyeshadow that I used in um, on my lids and I'm just gonna take I don't have a highlighter brush in my bag but I'm just gonna take this little brush right here and use the side and tap it off because this is pretty intense and just hit the top of my cheeks just gives you a little subtle glow and I like that some people might think that this is too sparkly to use as a highlighter but I don't mind the sparkle as a highlighter and I'm gonna hit just the tip of my nose and that's it for that and I don't know if there and then I'm gonna just pop on some lip gloss go on my lips all right super chapped and this is the Kapari, Kapori, Kapari, and it's just the lippy gloss. This is the, this is the um, clear gloss. And the reason why I just swipe on some gloss is because it's easy to put in my pocket when I'm teaching or when I'm just going somewhere quick and I don't have to worry about reapplying color and all that stuff. And my puppy. Last part of this video is talking about my top three. My top three are, if you can't guess, Heart Stopper by um, Alice Oseman, My Dark Vanessa by Kate Elizabeth Russell, and The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. These are my favorite three of March. I absolutely love them, so I'm just going to go into a little bit more detail. Now, this book, everybody knows about The Seven Husbands of uh, Evelyn Hugo. It's really, really popular right now, and it's popular for specific reasons. So this book is about um, Evelyn Hugo. She is a famous um, actress in Hollywood, and she was huge in her days. She was um, from 1950s to the 80s, so 30 years in Hollywood. She was really, really popular, and she worked her way up from nothing to her empire at the very top and our, you read it from two different perspectives. You read it from Evelyn Hugo's and you also read it from Monique's. And Monique is a reporter for a um, magazine. Can't remember what the magazine is called at the moment, but she goes into this as thinking that it was just gonna be a simple report but Evelyn Hugo wants her to write her actual biography. And she doesn't really understand why Evelyn Hugo wants her to write her biography, and you find out that later on in the book. But it is just written so beautifully. Like, this is hands down my, it's gonna be in my favorites of the year, most likely, because this was just a beautiful, beautiful book. And it was, it's not a quick read, but you get so engrossed with the characters especially Evelyn Hugo, learning about her life. That is it's one of those books that you're going to get through really, really quickly. So, five stars, definitely. Pick it up if you haven't read it yet. If you've read it, then you know how good it is because I don't think I've come across anyone who doesn't love this book. And I can't see, so I'm going to put my glasses back on. There we go. Next book is a totally different vibe and this is my dark Vanessa this is by Kate Elizabeth Russell this is a book it's very very dark and it is a uh, teacher student romance and we read it from our main characters position and her name is Vanessa obviously duh it's in the title Vanessa Wall and you read from past perspectives over 15 years to present perspectives and she 
obviously thinks that she loves her teacher when she was 15 years old and he was 20 something years older than her almost 30 years older than her and she thought that he was the one that he was the one that she was going to end up with and all this kind of stuff and then she finds out over the years that other people other girls have come out and said that the teacher did the exact same thing to them as he did to her but there will Vanessa's and his relationship go a little bit deeper um so you see the psychological issues that go on you also see their relationship grow it's really hard to read and it's really really dark but I think it's an important novel right now especially because you know everything in Hollywood's coming out and people are finally speaking out against their abusers and stuff so I think this is a really good book this is the debut novel it was written beautifully like she is an excellent excellent author if you haven't read this book pick it up just be forewarned there are a lot of triggers in here so if you don't like to read about um well especially age gap stories if you don't like that then don't be forewarned also there's a bug in here also um it there's some psychological issues in here so yeah but anyways it's a really really good book pick it up if you have it i think everybody needs to read this and the last one we're going to talk about is going in a wholly totally different direction this is heartstopper by alice oseman i freaking love this book i loved it it was really quick i read this after this book and it was totally needed because my dark Vanessa wrecked me <laughs> it was i loved it but it was it was a really hard read so i wanted to pick this up and this is about two boys meeting Clark, or I'm sorry, Charlie and Nick, they're at the same school, they never met, they're in different grades, and they meet playing rugby, and it, it's illustrated so cute, and it's just, it's one of those, the back is perfect, it says boy meets boy, boys become friends, boys fall in love, so you know exactly what you're getting when you go into this, and it was, just, it was so cute, and I ordered the other two, so plan on reading this soon but that is my makeup I will put everything down oh no 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 not done yet okay so <laughs> I need some setting spray so I'm gonna use the morphe continuous setting spray if you haven't ever used this it's really good the mist is really fine if you watch beauty YouTube videos like I do you know about this but if you don't it smells really good. It's Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. So I'm just going to spray this on my face. And I use this in the mornings just to set my face. And it lasts all day. That's why I love it. But anyways, that is it for today's video. Thank you for hanging out. Sorry it's taken me so long to post anything. But I really do want to get back into the swing of things. I have a box right here of skincare that I ordered and I'm reading more books and I'm still going to continue doing my Goodreads reading from lowest rank to highest rank and you'll see some other reviews on that but thank you for hanging out and I love you guys bye I never know what to do with the outro so I'm just gonna wave bye have a good day